In today's video, I am going to be breaking down five amazing basketball plays that will work against any man-to-man -man defense. Let's get down and let's check this out. But really quickly, if you want the complete guide to the five-out offense, which is a super simple offense to teach and has a ton of different options, make sure to go check out the five-out complete guide that is down in the description below. Now let's get down and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so the first play is zoom action, and what we are, or we're gonna do some kind of a zoom action in this first play. We're gonna have a screen down for player two, and then player one is going to then dribble out towards this left side, and he's going to be setting that staggered screen, but the second screen is going to be a dribble handoff for player two. While this is happening on the left side, and we should also explain to our players that this can also happen on the right side as well, but on the non-ball side, we're still going to have a pin down screen by player four. Player three is going to be using that screen. The idea here is when player two gets that ball, these players are still setting their screens, players four and five. However, four, five is going to be rolling off towards the middle of the key, and player four is going to be popping out towards the corner. After player one sets that screen, he's going to be lifting out towards the three-point line, and player two is going to be dribbling out towards the top of the three-point line. Player two should be looking at all four players as an option. However, the first two options he should be looking at is for player five or player three, or he can take the three point shot himself. If he was to pass to player five, player five should be looking to either score or to hit player four on the kick out pass. See what a lot of times what will happen is player four's defender, he may come down for help on player five, which would then give the kick out pass to player four. If player three's defender then drops, the extra pass will allow player three to score as well. If player two was to pass to player three, he would be looking for that three point shot or maybe he has a better entry angle for a pass into player five. If player two does a pass over to player one, this would be for a three point shot. And then the last option is the pass out to player four. If his defender was dropping down to protect the key, this could be an option, a skip pass out to player four for the three point shot as well. So player two needs to have his head up to make sure that he sees all of the different options. You could even continue this play where player five now cuts out towards player four and player four could then cut to the rim and this could be another option for player two to hit for that layup. If none of these options are open, player five will clear, player four will clear, and we can go into a five out motion, or we can continue on with another play. This play is very effective, but this next play, you can continue on after, if let's say that last play, the zoom play breaks down, this next play can go straight into it, and this is a play that I run on my U12 team. And with this, it's a continuous weave. So player two is going to do a dribble handoff with player three. After that dribble handoff, player two is going to roll to the basket. Player three is going to dribble out towards that left side. He may have the shot. He may have the drive. He may have the pass. He has multiple different options. If none of those options are open, player five is going to lift. Two is going to then clear out. And now player three is going to do a dribble handoff on this left side. And same thing just as the other side, player three is going to roll towards the basket and player one is going to then dribble up top. Same options apply. He could hit that roll man or he can take the shot himself or he could drive. If that's not open, these guys are going to then clear out and lift and player one is going to then set the exact same screen on this side and you can continue this over and over and over again until the defense opens up a lane down middle and in which case you can take that lane now that's a super simple set that you can run in the five out as well and it's very easy to run this next set is a horns basketball set it's a horns play and if you want the horns basketball playbook for secondary players or for middle school players, I have a fantastic Horns basketball playbook that is down in the description below as well. This is a super simple one. What you're going to do is have a screen or a double screen up top. Player one is going to use one of those screens or the other. It doesn't necessarily matter which way he goes. It depends on his defender. 
and then whichever side he uses, so let's say he uses player 5's side, player 5 will roll, and player 4 will then pop out towards that 3 point line. Player 1 is going to have the option to either shoot or pass to player 5. I personally love this next option. After that screen, or after that screen and roll, we're going to have player 5 set a screen on player 3's defender here, and player 1 is going to then continue down and do a dribble handoff with player 2. Player 3 is going to then use that screen, he's going to cut towards the middle of the key. Player 1, he's going to roll, but he's going to roll towards this spot of the court, not the middle of the key, because player 3 is already going towards that spot. Player 2 is going to dribble off of that screen, and he's going to either look for the shot, or he's going to look to pass to player 1, or to player 3. If he passes to player 3, this could be a score. 3 could also pass to 1 for the score as well. 2 could score himself. If player 2 passes to player 1, he can score. He could also pass to player 3. There's a couple of different options here. If this all breaks down, these guys are going to then clear out. And we can go into our next play, or we can go into another dribble handoff on this side as well. And we can continue with dribble handoffs as well. Dribble handoffs to finish a play is actually a fantastic way to be able to get some quick baskets. The reason why I say that is because, at least up here in Canada, if you are at the high school level, you're going to have a shot clock. So if your first play breaks down and it doesn't work, you may only have four or five seconds to be able to score and to do a quick dribble handoff and allow the next guy to potentially have a mismatch may be massively beneficial to be able to get at least a quick shot off. This next play is another horns play and I really like this option because what we're going to do is we're going to set pin down screens for player 2 and 3. 3 and 2 are going to both use those screens after they're set. Once they use those screens, we're going to have one of these players, and this is when it comes down to coaching or the player himself, we're going to have one of those sides roll towards the middle and one is going to clear out. Personally, I prefer the big man going towards the middle. This now gives player one, three options to pass to. If he passes to two or three, that's most likely going to be a shot or a drive to the rim. The other option is if he passes to two, he can screen away, five can set a back screen. If he passes to player three, five sets the back screen, one sets the screen away. When they set these screens, let's say we have our defenders here. We're going to look to set the other uh, back screen, but more on the baseline side of player three. That way we can have player three use that side and then player five would then roll towards the middle of the key. Player two would then go towards the top of the key. The main idea here is for us to be able to find multiple different options. Obviously player three could score. He may also see player five. If the defense collapses, he will then maybe be able to see player two for the wide open three. This is a pretty advanced play, but it works extremely well. That last play, however, I would probably reserve for either advanced middle school teams or high school teams. So this next play in this final play is a high four or a high one four offense. And I really like this one because if you have really tall players against a really short team, this is going to absolutely destroy them. You're going to have a pass either over towards player two or over to player three. When you make that pass, whichever side gets that ball, the postman has to set that screen away. At this time, player five is going to then use that screen. He's going to then cut to the basket. He is going to be our number one option. If he is not open, he is going to clear out. And then player four is going to set that screen on player two. Player one should clear out to the opposite side as well. And at this time, this is going to end in a screen and roll towards the basket. Depending on what happens with defense, player two's first option, however, will be to hit player four with the roll. He could score himself. However, depending on what these defenders will do if player one drops, then player two needs to make that pass out to player one. If player two makes it to the free throw line and player three drops, he needs to be able to kick that ball out to player three. If he gets to the rim or player four gets to the rim, whoever, and player five is there in the middle of the key, then 
his option would be player five blue. I hope that these five basketball plays help your team win more games. Make sure to go check out my my horns basketball playbook that is down in the description but also my complete guide to the five out basketball offense that is down in the description as well i hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you have hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time